we're set up here and based ourselves for a few days up in the Vic High Country. Um, we're pretty fully set up at the moment, so we thought we'd just do a quick um, setup video to show you around our home. So let me show you. folding camper trailer and it's so far served us pretty well on this trip has taken us everywhere that we have wanted to go all right so first of all we'll come into this drawer possibly the most important drawer if you ask me um, we have our fridge so this is a 60 liter fridge um, it's got everything we need it can last us about four or five days out camping, probably longer really, six days maybe. Um, Elle has made us a little fruit and veg basket, which is pretty nifty. All our vegetables we're getting squished down the bottom of the fridge, not anymore. Um, otherwise, in this drawer, we've just kind of filled it up as best we can, you know, making boxes out of wheat bix packets as you do. This is all of our spices important alcohol obviously and then just other bits and pieces washing powder and the all-important error guard we don't go anywhere without this so that's our first drawer and then we come over here another important drawer our pantry we've got everything here and then also in here is all of our tent poles Actually, there's some bread in there at the moment, as you do. All right, and then we will come over to the kitchen. I just wanted to mention as well, we've got the awning set up at the moment, which we don't actually set up all that often, only if we're camped up somewhere for maybe three or more nights and maybe if we know there's a lot of rain coming. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty nice to have that up at the moment. We do have all the walls and... Um, side walls for it in the car but yeah we haven't had to use those yet only on really windy days I suppose we'll need to. Alright so next the kitchen we've got our kitchen box I suppose you call it with pots and pans everything you need in there these are actually really handy boxes we found at Buddings wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah so literally everything is in here all of our utensils, you can pull that out, and all of our pots and pans. So that was a pretty good find, I reckon. We have our kitchen. So this is just a pull-out kitchen. It's really easy. You literally just pull it out, and then this folds over, um, which we normally do just in case it rains in the night time just to save the stove. That's nice and handy. Sink, all you have to do is lift up, push down. It's only cold water. Um, if we ever need, like if we're doing dishes, we'll just heat up a bit of water on the stove. We've got a three burner stove. That lifts up like that. Um, yeah, so while we're at the kitchen, I'll show you this nifty thing that Elliot has created. We were having issues, there was so much wind when we're up North Queensland, or we've got, got ourselves into a bit of wind actually. So Elle has created a windbreaker, I suppose you call it. Pretty nifty, that just goes like that, and it saves us a lot of trouble when cooking in wind, which is a pain in the ass. So then we have all of our lighting set up at the moment. It's uh, core lighting it's really handy actually so this is it here it's all just magnetic so it's especially when we've got the 
awning up with all these poles, it's really handy. Um, but you can, so we do sometimes attach it to the camper, it attaches there as well. But at the moment, we've got it up nice and high. Um, it look, I don't know what else got going on here, it looks very extreme, we don't normally have all this. I think it's only because we've got a lighting going into the shower tent, right? Yeah. It's very extreme. Elle loves his lighting, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, that's just all plugs into the 12 volt outlets there. All right, and now we come over to the shower tent. We're completely off grid camping at the moment, so no shower. Um, we do have a toilet, just a little drop toilet, but any toilet's a good toilet when you're camping. Um, so this is our shower tent we have set up at the moment. Come in here and all it is is a little 12 volt shower and our shower bucket. It really isn't as bad as it sounds, that shower bucket. Um, at the moment we're obviously no water out here, we're trying to conserve water. Um, so we've just went and filled up our bucket in the creek. It's a nice clear running creek so it's completely fine um, and at the moment we're just warming up our shower buckets on the fire every night and it warms up really fast. It's really good and the shower is actually really good like Elle's drilled a few more holes in there to give us a bit more pressure and it's fine. But yeah we have a bit of flooring down so no muddy floor in the shower. It's um, pretty good really. All right, so I'll run you through some of the electrical side of things and this side of the camper. So we brought this at Christmas time when we was back um, for Christmas at home. Um, it's actually saved us going to powered sites. Um, I do have a solar on the roof of the car, which I thought would charge the camper, but unfortunately it wasn't cutting the job um, if it was shady, plus we was driving during the day, so it wasn't charging. So that's been a really good good purchase. Uh, it's a 250 watt solar panel um, just off eBay. I think it was just over 100 bucks so it's a pretty good buy and it's kept us kept us going everywhere. So uh, around here we've got uh, two gas bottles in there. Oh I don't know if you can really see. So we've also got um, a 20 litre water jerry and a diesel jerry. Uh, that one's normally what we fill up for drinking water and then the Diesel Jerry we've never used yet. Um, haven't needed to been plenty of petrol stations. So this cupboard <laughs> is locked. Okay. Alright, so this one at the moment has our Weber in. We do normally keep that in the car, but it's a bit rattly if you go on dirt road, so we decided to take it out this time. Um, otherwise, in there we have uh, a hose for the tap on the front. Um, we've got a water tap on the front of the camper. Um, we may use that for something. We've got our power cable if we do want to plug into power. Um, and also that's um, petrol for a chainsaw, which we haven't used yet. And also got a fire pit grill and some of the matting for the um, shower. Alright, so in this storage compartment, we do have our um, toilet, which we haven't used, we've never had to use it yet, um, but we have it there just in case we ever need to use it and we're really bush with no drop toilet. So we got that there, and we've got another power cable there, and that's just the other side of the poles for the awning. In this cupboard here, we've got um, our switch panel. Um, this controls all the electrics, all your lights, your fridge, solar input and your water pump that's all that's on the switch panel there uh, we've got 200 amp hour batteries in there uh, which keeps it all running all right so in this one we just got a water spate so we've got a hundred litre water tank in here which generally lasts us about five days um, if we're using it regularly and for everything apart from showering um, so that's pretty good but I think we'd get a fair bit longer if we use the creek for showers and stuff. Um, other than that, we just got a 
fill up hose in there. Add a few just little nozzles. I do have. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, and just the last thing. We got that there. That's a, a rubbish bin. So we put all our rubbish. And now we come inside the camper. So um, this is our bed. Not much you can say about that. It was pretty terrible when we first got it. It was pretty terrible when we first got it. Hard as a rock, so we've just put a little um, mattress chopper on it and it's done us well since. We've got some LED lighting on the roof and then on each side of the camper. Um, couple of Another couple of 12 volt outlets down the bottom here. Just to, you know, charge everything, charge our life, all the electronics. Um, and then behind you here is our seating area. So we can put the out the table that we have outside at the moment in here, but it's a beautiful day outside, so we have it sitting outside. Um, but we can get these up, and then we have a bit of storage down here. So Nothing much interesting in there. A few sand pegs, a game. Um, yep, that's that one. And then over here is our batteries. And then on the other side over here, same setup as this side. It's just got all our shoes in it. And then all of this is our day-to-day -day use kind of stuff. All right, so move on to the car. I won't go into too much detail about the car. Um, there's quite a bit happening in there with what we're taking, so I'll run through that in another video. Uh, but we'll have a quick browse over. So, like I said earlier, we had that solar panel on the roof. That's currently just charging the two batteries in the car, so that keeps the batteries topped up most of the time uh, because we run the fridge off that full time. Um, we got the Rhino Rack Summer Seeker awning, which is another buy we did at Christmas. Um, mainly because if we were somewhere for one or two nights and we didn't want to set the awning up, which takes a bit longer, um, we just wanted something in case it rains. So, and we've used that a fair bit since buying that, so that's another good buy we've done. So, just other things on the roof we've got the shovel, haven't needed to use that. We do have a couple of, well, we've got a set of treads up there and we've got a highlight jack and in that box we've got all our spares or spare parts uh, and our chainsaw that's what we keep in there which we haven't used anything on the roof yet but anyway it's there just in case we need it all right so in here we've got our second fridge which is a 40 litre uh, it's a rough country brand if you want to know the brand We've got our air compressor out because we've been air up pumping up. We've been pumping up our tyres and letting them down a fair bit over the last few days, so that's why that's out. Um, we've got a inverter in here as well, so that will charge mostly our drone and our laptop and other little things like our drill battery and stuff like that. Um, that's a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter, so more than enough for what we need. Alright, so in here we have our tool drawer. So it's mostly just got tools and other little things just in case we have a breakdown, something quick to grab. Probably got too many tools, but if you want to know what I take, I'll tell you in another video. That's the first man I've ever heard say too many tools. Well, I haven't used many. <laughs> Well, there's an opening. <laughs> All right. <laughs> In this one, we have a fishing tackle box in there, and a lure box. We've got some lures. Uh, we've got a couple more sand pegs in there, and our drone sits in here as well. And also, all our recovery gears in there, which I can't get to at the moment. I'll have to fix it. The only other things that we really keep in here is our clothes. Um, we 
we've got the awning, the full awning set up for the camper because there's no way really to put that inside the camper. Uh, we keep our shower tent bag in here and that's pretty much it. Oh, I've got some more tools and electrical boxes down there and a just in case box so I'm very well prepared for that. <laughs> Alright, so that is our home for the next uh, however long, year and a half roughly. Um, hope you enjoyed looking at our home and yeah, thanks for watching.